the chance of a meal spurs the brothers into action. with no male guardians. A tantalizing prospect for the bachelors. The scent left behind by one of the females provides even greater temptation. Hormones in their urine can signal when a lioness is in heat. As lionesses often come into estrus together, it's possible the whole pride wants to mate. Females have no reason to trust the previously violent males. To win them over, the nomads will have to show restraint and maturity. With uncharacteristic self control, they wait and watch. It's evening. Nathan's come to see if the MK mothers are managing to keep their spirited couple out of trouble and away from their fathers. So the, the mothers have brought the cubs here, having left the past that open area where they pretty much spent most of the night. And they're just sort of quite relaxed in the shade, having a bit of a groom, a little bit of play. The cubs are as curious as ever. particular spotty. He discovers a group of helmeted guinea fowl that are passing through. Or were. Lions are opportunists, and guinea fowl are occasionally on the menu. might be asleep, but perhaps it's wise to go the long way around. As dusk approaches, the cub's grandmother gets hungry. This is ideal hunting ground. Large numbers of prey pass through on their way to the river. And the dense thicket makes perfect cover for stalking. It actually looks like the mums are starting to leave now. Interestingly, they're, they're just leaving the cubs out there in the open next to the bush. It's always risky leaving their cubs alone, but until the mothers rejoin their pride and can share food, they have to do their own hunting. The danger of leaving cubs at night time is up hyenas or other lions or other predators finding them and they're way too small to defend themselves. And if the mothers are quite far away hunting, then they won't be able to go back and help them. For the first half hour, the cubs pass the time resting and sleeping. to, as usual, stay hidden as they've been taught to. As darkness falls and the temperature cools, the cubs become more alert. The bush comes alive with the sounds of the night. catches the cub's attention. They recognize 
against their mother's grounds. Spotty, appointing himself as leader, heads off to investigate. No one wants to be left behind. It's madness. They could easily run into hyenas or a leopard. This time, the cubs get away with it. They find their mothers and grandmother tucking into an impala. This is the cubs' first time at a kill. But they should never have come here alone. Luckily for them, Rosa and Zuri are too preoccupied with their meal to tell them off. The cubs' growing appetite for meat shows they're progressing well. With bellies full, the mothers head off and the cubs follow. All except Spotty. His first in parlor. And it's all for him. Or is it? Spotty knows better than to get between a male lion and his food. Tonight is not the night to meet his father. Spotty joins his siblings as another day of misadventure comes to an end. <laughs> 